Hey guys, welcome to my channel. A little while ago, I found this software called AI Gigapixel, and it kind of changed my life. This is not a sponsored video. I bought the software myself. I started using it at work, got my wife using it for what she does for her graphic design work. And it is one of those things that I wonder where it's been all my life. Um, I just want to actually show you what it does without even trying to explain a little bit. His glasses. There's a reflection. That's the Nuevita's baseball team. That's their logo. And he's talking to whoever's wearing that jacket. Well, not quite. I found this image just a stone texture. It's 500 pixels by 325 pixels. We're gonna four times res it to 2K. Let's look at the preview. We're basically taking this image on the left here. This is what it looks like. And the software is doing this. Using uh, AI to study millions of images and tries and fills in the gaps. It works amazing. Uh, you can download cheap low res textures, run it through the software and get really awesome output. And uh, there's a bunch of options you can also set here. So instead of auto, I'm going to set this to manual and there's a noise suppression. You can see without noise suppression, going to get a little bit of noise in here with noise suppression. If you want to remove some of the blur in the image, we can increase the blur removal or decrease it. So let's look at this baseball render from uh, one of my old time videos. Now I'm going to go from a HD render to an 8K image. And this looks pretty good, but you can see that it's it starts to kind of uh, break down a little bit. Basically, it's not good at uh, completely uh, unnatural images. But there are some things you can do to kind of make it a little better. So by default on auto, it's not great. We'll go into uh, manual and increase the uh, suppressed noise. You can see it's getting much better. Remove blur, I'm gonna drop it and see what I get. And you can see I'm starting to get in this horizontal lines. So I'm gonna increase it. That's looking much better. And let's check the wireframe. I mean, come on, that looks pretty amazing. Grass texture, this is perfect, this is something uh, you know, as a texture artist, you need all the time, and uh, you can see that it's actually making that grass look pretty good. There's a little bit of weird, like, um, extra lines that it's putting around the images. Let's see if we can try and get rid of some of this. Let's see if we can remove the remove blur filter. Try auto. It's decent. I think uh, you can still use it as a texture. Let's try this image. Let's go to 4K and zoom in a little bit more. Look at that. It's really good. Let's try a portrait. See with without face refinement and wood. But you can see the eyes, they're much sharper. They have individual uh, eyelashes. If we look go back and look at the hair, look at those lines. Let's look at this stormtrooper render. Now the thing that I'm pretty excited about this is that you can render in HD or even in 720p and then you can up res your renders. Suppress noise, remove some of this uh, grain, remove blur and there we go. I mean look at those lines. Look at the wireframe. The wireframe is where we're going to have a little bit of an issue. 
getting a little bit of artifacting there. Yeah, but this detail is pretty insane. Now let's look at just the wireframe. So this is where things get a little wonky. It's still pretty good. I think if you go too high, like, you know, if you go to 4K or 6K, you're going to start to see a little bit of issues. But finally, let's look at the Rocketeer helmet. Look at that. Alright, so I'm going to clear this and I'm going to show you um, how you can process uh, a full render. So if you render your images, so I'm going to just drag a few in. Uh, you need to make sure you render an image sequence and PNGs work well or you can use TIFFs uh, or targets. But you can just drag them in here. You can see they'll all come up. Uh, once you kind of get your settings right, and figure out what you want to render. So let's say you want to do uh, 2K or two times. So an HD two times, this is a 4K resolution for what YouTube considers 4K and what most TVs actually display as 4K is 3840 by 2160. When you're happy with this, you can just click start and it's going to start processing all of them. So now let's look at some of the results and compare what we get out of a gigapixel versus what we get out of, uh, let's say, Photoshop. So one image that is pretty amazing here is this stone texture. So I'm going to drop this in and let's do a 6K. I think, I think 6K is the limit. Probably. Let's do a 4K up res to, two, to a 2K image and let's click start it's done let's go to photoshop let's find the stone texture so i'm going to up this uh, using photoshop's uh, up so i'm going to go to image size and we'll click automatic here uh, let's do percent and we will do 400 percent which will be the 4k let's see so this is the automatic. You can see it tries to resample. You can see what it's going to look like. If we try some of the other options here, there's uh, enlargement, preserve details. Ugh, that looks pretty bad. Uh, by cubic enlargement. So this is like the default that it used to be. So let's just leave it on automatic and see what happens. And then let's place, place, embed it. Here it is. And then we can compare. So this is the new high image, and that's the original that's been up -rezzed. So let's take a look. Let's go to 100. So this is the actual image. So this is the original, and then enhance with AIK pixel. Original, enhanced. All right, so. Here's 100% and enhanced from this to that. Enhanced, original, original, enhanced. So the software is only $99. I think it's a really fair price for what it does. Um, I bought it uh, at home. I convinced my job to buy it and I even got it for my students uh, at the school that I teach and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to support this channel I do have an affiliate link uh, in the description use that link to uh, to place an order if you like 
if you want to test out the software there's a trial if you like it buy it using the link and you help support this channel by using the link for your purchase uh, thank you for watching and uh, i'll see you guys next time